case of Shah Rukh, he will always come. He, he will, you know, he has a very student-like quality. Like he mm. would, he would respect the teacher who's expecting him to be rehearsed. Salman, he doesn't care. He knows that irrespective teacher is going to love him any which uh. ways. When I went to receive my national award, trust me, I was, I was, a zombie. It was the moment that came in. I stood in front of the president. I took the award. I took the picture and everything, and I've gone. Uh. I've sat. I said, "Tell mummy, Chinese khate hai abhi." <laughs> you and Farah, ma'am, were the two prodigies. Did it ever happen that you uh, people tried to pit you against each other? Because we came in at a time where mobile phones were clearly not around, so we couldn't call each other and clear our airs. First song I did, the director himself turned around and said, "Who do you think you are? You think you are someone great?" With Deshram Rang, this year. It was a huge conversation had started yeah. with that particular song. It became uh, the talking point, and that was intended. Also, the title of the song. Maybe mm. if we had just called it "Husna Hamet to Loot Liya," it would have <laughs> resolved all our issues, I guess. There is Tota Roy Chaudhary, <laughs> and there is uh, Ranvi Singh uh. who has to break into classical Kathak dancing, and they are doing to "Dola Re Dola." I was like, "Hey, <laughs> Bhagwan, mar gayi main yar. Ye mere paas hi kyu aata hai? This." <laughs> Ranveer is palpitating. He's got anxiety calls. He's calling not me because he can't call me and tell me, "Nay, nay, hoga." But say, "Nay, hoga." He can't call because I've done band baja bara. Mm. He will. He can't. Get, he knows he'll not get away with that call. In case the reported uh, Tiger versus Pathan happens, are you excited to kind of combine these two energies together? It's going to be mayhem. It's going uh, to be like a colossal burst of energy yeah. and excitement so my next guest uh, it's the first time i'm talking to her in person or, or even uh, before i've not never spoken to her even telephonically also so this is our <laughs> first conversation ever and before this i had the misconception that she has the humongous talent of only dancing today i got to know that she's an amazing singer and uh, her personality just shines through each and every place she goes and be it on screen be it off screen and she is the queen of dance but she's a queen of music as well and she's the queen of hearts too so join me as i welcome the amazing the person who has made the bollywood dance to her tunes webavi merchant so firstly i will welcome to bollywood bubble thank you bollywood bubble thank you akash i think after this introduction i am speechless i have got <laughs> i have no words diwali has become much more brighter because of leke prabhu ka naam firstly how was the process of creating this song because uh, if people don't realize it like as long as salman and katrina have been a part of this spy universe you also have been You have been there for Tiger One, then Tiger Two, and now again returning to it. Firstly, how was the process of it? I feel like a prodigy because the way you've questioned me this, like I suddenly feel, "Are you Tiger One, Tiger Two, Tiger Three?" I think this was like how a fish takes to water. Mm -hmm. Let me say this, and I'm not being confident about it. I'm not being overconfident about it. I still had the other two. Uh, milestones to cross, which was what we had done with uh, Masha Allah, and after mm -hmm. that we did uh, Swagsi Swagat. So, when the Blake Prabhu ka naam aaya, mm -hmm. of course it was Pritam Da, and Dada was also creating his track, and Dada was also poor thing scratching his head. What are we doing? So he came with this hook phrase, and I think all of us unanimously loved the hook phrase a lot. And with that, because we also kind of evolved and said, "Acha, ye gana shoot kaha ho jaa raha hai." So we then it was zeroed down that it would be Turkey. and it somehow flew so this was a very long schedule of tiger 3 yeah. so with them starting in russia and then also going to turkey to do other scenes and then song and ended with that and then we were progressing to go to austria like the kind of feedback and what we saw uh, in swag se swagat the euphoria it created uh -huh. the freshness or whatever they called like i had a lot of people calling me and said hey what a lovely song like we've not seen salman like this ever yeah. so now that is again a a, <laughs> a part to follow you again have to go uh, back to that acha ab kya and i feel like uh, it has the essence of mashallah and swag swagat in a way visually hmm. because as a viewer i would say that uh, the desert setting reminds you of little mashallah mashallah you know yeah. you'll be shocked that the desert was created in film city <laughs> We were earlier supposed to shoot that song in Bangkok, and I refused to go to Bangkok because I had done one schedule in Bangkok, which was humid and hot, and I said I'm never stepping in <laughs> Bangkok ever. And I'm being brutally honest. No offense, of course, people go to Bangkok for other reasons, and they go for shopping and all. It's fine, but to to be burning in furnace and for me to create that, so I said, you know, May, May. This was shot I, in some year in May. I know the month, and we shot it at Film City. I said I'll create. So that wasn't. Uh, that was supposed to be morocco because we mm. mardan is what the 
the texture of that film was the yeah. first ikta tiger yeah. and we said you know what we'll create and we brought in dancers from all mm. over the world and they look beautiful and we style them but it was shot here in film city but see mashallah kya gana nikla dekha see but uh, that's what i'm saying the hum, desert hum bahut achhe hustlers hain hum bahut cheat karte hain hum kahi se kuch bhi kar sakte hain but of course in uh, swag se swagat we took three flights to reach naxos <laughs> and we maine double karwai hai wahan pe unhone kaha pehli baar tumne ek chhodi hai aur team karke jao i know the two flights jo humne miss kar li wo humne wahan par humne usko compensate kar liya right and we reached this beautiful uh, yeah. island of naxos in greece and that's where we shot that with lots of wind and lots of wind breeze and a lot of chill and people yeah. freezing because and of the water bodies around and of course here we shot it in cappadocia because yeah. nobody no other film has ever shot yeah. no other hindi film has ever shot there when it comes to salman khan na people don't care the rest of the choreography but they want to see that hook step hmm. i think that is the most difficult to crack because he is known for his hook steps Hmm. So firstly how was it for you to crack the one for this See ko kya hai na I'll tell you what with Salman na I what is the good part of it is when you do less he will want you to do more when you do more he will say kam karo <laughs> so what you do is you follow the path of middle main kya karti hu I keep it a little open ended also at times and I also go instinctive with him hmm. you cannot think he's not somebody who you meticulously design steps for you kind of hmm. have to feel it you know wo andar se aana hai because he is all about uh like owning that step till he can't own the step till he doesn't own the step till he's not thinking about the step when you are dancing you should not be thinking about yeah. the dance it should flow it should be a mellifluous journey yeah. within discovering i'm like discovering yourself through that music through that dance right you're using mm. your body to kind of interpret the music yeah. so with him it's very important for him to feel very comfortable then to make it his own then to project it like unhone hi ijad kiya ye step main to thi nahi set pe it can't be like abhi webbi merchant ne aake choreography and then you're thinking and you're looking at his dance ah webbi ne kya kiya nahi it can't be webbi ne kya kiya it has to be salman ji ne kya kiya aur katrina ji ne kya kiya so if you're able to do that take a back seat not let your voice Uh, shout out so much of course you all are here giving me the respect and taking my interview and i'm speaking about my work but still my work reflects through those actors and it's very important for me to ensure that it's ironed out beautifully and it's presented suiting befitting the character yeah. and befitting the actor as you gain experience now uh, it becomes easier to deal with expectations it, it becomes because you kind of learn how the process works you learn how you do your work and the outside voices st- stop kind of influencing you you started off when you first did your first solo choreography it gained you a national award mm. and the expectation suddenly re- ri- rose up through the roofs because the highest honor the nation could best to mm. ha- you had did it become a little difficult to kind of deal with that scrutiny that kind of uh, expectation that come at that point of time i've been blessed with oblivion and why i say that <laughs> why i say being oblivion is a blessing to me because yeah. i i don't let a lot of noise enter my system i don't mm. let i do <clears throat> not listen to how people perceive me there were there has been an entire arc in my journey mm. where people after all of that i have done have still criticized me for some work which is now getting a lot of praise like it's called it's called classics mm. like a film like aaj anachle when uh. it came in i won my ifa awards i won the popular awards but i got badly reviewed for my work yeah. and that is that person's opinion yeah. and it doesn't matter to me because each and every person has a right to opinion it right yeah. to opine with what they feel about it not necessarily i am in agreement with that to mujhe wo farak nahi padta ke so i don't let all of that information bother me so for me if i'm not attached to the success that i'm gaining i'm not going to be attached to the criticism i'm also garnering right yeah so i made that as a conscious decision very well in advance that when i went to receive my national award trust me i was i was a zombie like i i was so tired i had not slept i don't think i had eaten i take my mom i had to take a flight i had mm. the vigyan bhavan they called me for a rehearsal i walked in it just went like a like a blitz you know like phadak karke mm. so it was a moment that came in i stood in front of the president i took the award i took the picture and everything and i've gone <laughs> i've sat 
I said, "Chal, mummy, Chinese khate abhi." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm not uh, saying it as a joke, but I'm just saying that when that moment has gone back, and you kind of go back to that memory, and then you kind of live with it, and you kind of. So I'm not giving that. Oh, my national award, jeet rahi hoon, jeet rahi hoon, jeet. It doesn't affect me. Like yeah. I, I feel that moment came. That got okay. What next? For me, that entire tick, no, my entire. Uh, how should i say my adrenaline or my excitement is when i'm on that set creating yeah other than that the periphery the periphery yeah. of whether i'm being whether somebody is praising my work or whether somebody is loving me or whether somebody is like uh, you know giving me that appreciation of course i'm all there i'm all ears i'm all listening i'm yeah. taking it i'm soaking it all in i'm taking everything that they want to say but i'm yeah. a bit detached from yeah. that but very attached to that process of making that job done during the early 2000s mm. there were only a few choreographers name you would listen to mm. uh, you would hear it would be yours it would be farah khan it would be saroj khan uh, till the time she was working actively then remo de souza these were the two three four names that would always pop up the others were not that so were there ever you were kind of pitted against each other the rivalry that was created in the mm. media did that ever got to you did that ever got in the relationships that you kind of had with them i had a lineage in my grandfather who was shri b hiralal ji who was the first pioneer b sohan lal ji hira lal ji chini lal that family of the lal parivar they were the first generation of choreographers in the film industry starting with the black and white era aplam chaplam so from there how they took the industry the songs like you know banji koti wale band there's a beautiful song with padmini ji and vaijanti mala ji it's a com dance competition song to waha डोला रे डोला का इंसेप्शन वहाँ हुआ था तो इमेजिन इफ यू सी डोला रे डोला टुडे यू वुड रियलाइज दैट इट कम्स फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल ऑफ दैट इज द सॉन्ग माई ग्रैंड फादर कोरोग्राफ्ट कॉल्ड वंजी कोटे वाले बंद इट्स अ तमिल फिल्म बट इट वॉज कॉल्ड आई थिंक राज तिलक इन हिंदी इट गॉट डब्ड एज दैट सो यू सी टू स्ट्रॉन्ग डांसर्स ऑपोजिट ईच अदर कंपीटिंग विद ईच अदर सो दैट ऑल दैट all the masters no all the golden era masters they've already done everything we are doing today but in the 90s when i really started to kind of watch film Not cinema it. my first stepping into the cinema and the kind of films we saw of course i used to only watch english films or musicals i would always mm. be keen to watch those like the fred astaire ginger rogers those kind of cinemas yeah. and films and black and white era and i used to love watching those and then to see द यश चोपड़ा फिल्म एंड चांदनी देखा लम्हे देखा तेजा में एक दो तीन सरोज जी स्टार्टेड सो शी चेंज द एंटायर नैरेटिव देन यू नो शी क्रिएटेड अ स्पेस फॉर पीपल लाइक फरा एंड मी टू फॉलो सो सरोज जी वेन शी स्टार्टेड एंड शी क्रिएटेड अ कैटेगरी कॉल बेस्ट कोरियोग्राफी वी ऑल सडनली आई सडनली लुकट अप एस ए वेड मिन वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस कोरियोग्राफी देन आई रियलाइज देन आई रियलाइज आई बिलोंग टू द फैमिली where she came from also where she was training under b sohan lal so my curiosity to understand the subject got mm. bigger so for me there are lots of people who had their voices like remo had his own voice because he came from a certain influence of yeah. western dance culture saroji came from the training and the legacy of my grand parents like my mm. grandfather of being classically trained like classical indian folk yeah. like uh, madhumati films like madhubati jis desh mein ganga behti hai ganga jamna pakhiza so those are different kind of and then farak coming in with her fresh breeze of mm. energy and you know musicals and she was all about jazz and she was that whole pop culture that had just seeped in top of the pops you know we used to listen mm. to wham i don't know you all are different generation i know <laughs> but it's nice to go back the memory lane just to just to give you all a short yeah. history on what where i'm coming from then for me to come kind of come in and then post that also following with master ji ganesh acharya who yeah. used to be uh an assistant with i think uh, he had his gurus also and they you know who were dancers who then progressed to being assistants in cinema and then became choreographers right yeah. so they are all they've all evolved and everybody kind of brought in their own voices and when i came in i think choreography was it was at its peak mm. now for me to create my own voice that was a tough one yeah it was tough because i and i didn't get it easy i was not spared i was like i was of course i had my own voice and i'm happy that i sustained that voice i did not succumb to any ke uh, mujhe aisa gana karna chahiye ya mujhe inke jaisa gana karna chahiye i didn't want to be a copy of anything or mm. anyone i wanted to be myself i wanted to have my own voice i wanted to come from uh, what 
I understood and how I read and how I realized how dance should be interpreted. Even though my extensive training has been in both Bharatnatyam and uh, Kathak, because I'm also a Khandani. So from intense classical training, when I switched to films, that also was a big struggle for me because they wanted me, like my, I, I think my gurus wanted, thought I would pursue classical dancing as a, I would be a performer myself. Uh, yeah, so when I made that switch, they were all shocked. Like, how yeah. can you say at 17, how are you going to ever break the profession or break into a profession where people have taken eons and ages mm. to master and conquer? I said, no, I still want to do it. So I was that young brat, fun man, <laughs> still am. Baggy. 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 Rebel. But I have to say, like, you and Farah ma'am were the two prodigies. Prodigies might be the writer, might not. But, uh, like, after Saroj ma'am, like, you two were the uh, two females who kind of took that legacy ahead. Yeah. Uh, because at that time, uh, early 2000s, when I was growing up, I did not hear any other female choreographer's name as such or as much. You two were the ones who actually took that ahead. Yeah. But did it ever happen that you, uh, people tried to pit you against each other? That things got to you like that? So, I'll tell you what. Now, so, I think what really helped then is because we came in at a time where mobile phones were clearly not around. So, we couldn't call each other and clear our airs. But luckily that happened eventually, right? We, we got technology in. So, coming back to your question, I just want to tell you, yes, this moment of uh, the legacy that Saroji created for both Farah and me, but we, I think we were very strong individuals. And let me tell you, forget female choreographers, there were no, there were not, hardly any women in a profession which was male dominated. For instance, it was categorized that hairdressers to ladies, hongi, but mm. makeup artists male. Hoga. Mm. Those were rules made by people earlier, but those have also broken because yeah. women have also entered that as a profession. Then, achha, costumes to male karenge, but somehow Bhanu Athaya ji broke mm. that norm and she came into the industry and they were, so they were like female heroines were females and then they are female hairdressers and they are costume designers and that's about it. You never saw a female lighting gaffer or you didn't see a female camera assistant mm. or you didn't see a female uh, choreographer per se but you did see female choreography assistants yeah but those assistants really had a rough time carving a niche for themselves and breaking out uh, solo and independently yeah. so therefore it was very very scary it would have been it would have been much tougher for saroji versus uh, afara or me of course we had our own set of uh, challenges. breaking in and mm. challenges and like I, I think somebody today would also have the same thing with the mm. legacy Farah and me are leaving and the other choreographers are leaving. True. Anybody who wants to break in will have to go we'll through have, this uh, drill, right? To to whatever, do whatever they need to achieve. So, I think uh, it became very important to us to make sure that whatever happened, whatever noise that was created mm. around us and whatever chaos that was created around mm. us for whoever's pleasure. Yeah. Loose talks, ho, bolo, aap bolo ke achha, iski rivalry hai. But the people enjoyed that kind of yeah. uh, titillation, that sensationalizing drama. True. I think people today are now yeah, saying they are getting enough there. drama around mm. them. So it's okay. Like they are thinking, <laughs> ke, inko there's a lot of drama out there. <laughs> every point. Hai. Ah, so uh. they are feeling, abhi kya hai? Abhi now it doesn't matter. Like I create, so I didn't care. Like I first, so my first ever dance reality show, I also did a Jalak Biklaja season yeah. uh, 3. I think with Saroji and Juhima. Yeah. So when I did it with Saroji, I gave her immense respect because I came from an upbringing that yeah. told me how to behave with your elders and how do you respect. I was not here to prove my point because I came with the Sharnagati, I came mm -hmm. with a lot and I and this is not a pretense uh, respect uh, put, put up or that. Yeah. I came, I really felt like that for her. Yeah. And I expressed myself very clearly that this is how I feel about you. And I think that broke the ice there and yeah. there. And you mentioned that uh, uh, there were very few female choreographers. Yeah. So di initially, did it ever happen that someone might not treated you well on set? Uh, maybe a direct actor, someone in, in charge because you were a uh, women, uh, female choreographer. Yeah. Um, uh, this happened on my first ever song, which I don't oh. want to name who. Yeah. But the first song I did, the director himself turned around and said, Who do you think you are? You think you are someone great? And I heard that and I just was very humble and very, I didn't bother about it. I did not let that affect me because mm. I, 
there was a certain amount of blessing there's a certain mm. amount of uh, i guess i guess uh, the cosmos the the, the like mm. i was being supported by something which was beyond my my understanding is there's something beyond all of us that is supporting all of us yeah. i really believe that for me would happen i didn't have a vision mm. then i just was doing a job on a set and i said kuch to hua hoga kuch to tha ek koi to ek energy hai na we are all part of the same cosmos energies and some energy came in and made me do something with and i was i was the way i was and i think jo uh, what i was destined for what was written for me would happen i didn't have a vision mm. then i just was doing a job on a set and i said i want to do it to the best of my abilities yeah. हालांकि वो डायरेक्टर की भी पहली फिल्म है ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई मैवरिक डायरेक्टर था उसकी भी पहली फिल्म है बट उसको अगर वो हक बना टू काइंड ऑफ रिड्यूस मी एंड पुट मी डाउन एंड टेल मी टू माय फेस दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ नोबडी इट इट जस्ट गिव मी द राइट पुश आई गेस दैट थ्रॉटल बोलते ना यू नीड दैट थ्रस्ट यू नीड समथिंग टू काइंड ऑफ रिकॉयल एंड यू रिलीज दैट वॉज माई ट्रिगर पॉइंट एंड आई जस्ट एंड वेरी डिसेंटली नॉट to prove a point not verbatim not to counter argue hmm. any of it i always have done it silently and i believe in the power yeah. of silence did you see that perception change for that person not naming but, but i did don't you see? take even pleasure i f- I, f- i felt pity then uh. and i feel nothing now ah, that <laughs> i think that is a perfect attitude <laughs> to have but like you started the year as we mentioned uh, with M- mr khan and you are now almost ending the year with mr khan i'm not saying uh, completely ending because there's one month Sir still khan left khan. and i don't know uh, which uh, act, uh, other song you might have been releasing but uh, you started with shahrukh khan you are now doing uh, this song with salman khan in between you have done some amazing choreographies uh, like and i think dola re dola that you did for rocky rani i feel the biggest thing about that is it's not a song song per se in the film but that choreography has become such a rage outside the way ranveer has done it you have had, i don't think uh, there might be other years as well but this year has that many highlights for you that mm. would always be remembered be starting with besharam rang then now ending with this and then beech mein dola re dola tum kya mile for that matter everything that has happened how has been the approach uh you have you found your approach to be changing with all of them and the kind of reception that came dealing with all that because a lot of success came this year i knew that what we were about to do how we were going about it in fact i started with leke prabhu ka naam ah in 2021 ha tiger to yeah it was yes. being shot before and then i think i shot uh, besharam rang in hmm. 2022 march and then i shot in january 2022 uh, dindora bajere and dola re dola so 2022 was tough because i was just back to back doing all the film songs and all of that and i think very recently also in 2023 when, when i worked for uh, not ramaya vastavaya that happened yeah. just this year itself and i think we also shot the kashmir song this year tum kya mile oh. for rock mm. and roll yeah So yes it has been a crazy uh, year and non stop and I also with that did a musical for uh, Neeta Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center called Civilization mm. to Nation and that was a first of its kind we had the launch so as part of that historical moment uh, in theater as well so for me I have been just completely I'm I'm grateful for every moment every second yeah. every hour every day and every month that I have put yeah. my my all to it i've given it all and there is no bigger gratification mm. than having people like you come firstly mm. and ask me these questions uh voicing people's uh excitement mm. i understand why you're here and i'm only and only grateful that this day has arrived for me to be able to express my heartfelt mm. love and grat like and 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 gratitude to all of them and all mm-hmm. of you yeah. this guy who's shooting me <laughs> to you who's asking me this question to this lovely lady even <laughs> sitting behind who's the camera waiting for us. who's waiting for us, us to, to finish, finish this <laughs> but just letting you all know that this this is what we thrive for this yeah. is what an artist wants artist ko kya chahiye hota hai wah tareef chahiye hota na agree tumhare if i you put the you you equate that with money no amount of of course that's important to important too but that is not going to validate that's not going to give you the the peaceful night the, the satisfaction car. than the appreciation and acknowledgement forget yeah. appreciation 
पहले तो अक्नोलेजमेंट मिले कि भाई यू बींग एक्नोलेज फॉर द वर्क यू डन यू बींग अक्नोलेज फॉर बींग एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट आई मे बी अ वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट अ फिल्म has is a is a director's medium yeah. it's a producer's medium it's an actor's medium and when people like me like hods who are a very small part mm. in that larger picture who come in and do what they are meant to do and do it to the best of abilities where that also becomes a point a talking point a mm. conversation takes place a conversation starts mm. for me with beshram rang this year it was a huge conversation had started yeah. with that particular song it became Uh, the talking point and that was intended because if i'm not generating that curiosity if i'm not creating that mm. moment for all of us to talk about yeah. then i may have done a very ordinary job mm. right today even with all the other songs also what if, like when karan challenged me and told me that aapko dindora baje hai to hai with with alia and ranveer uh. but before that <laughs> there is tota roy choudhary <laughs> and there is uh, ranveer singh uh. who has to break into classical kathak dancing and they are doing to dola re dola i was like hey bhagwan mar gayi main yaar ye mere paas hi kyu aata hai ye this ek to dola re dola is a iconic song hmm. it's a classic performed by two dancers <laughs> madhuri dikshit ji and aishwarya rai ji ab <laughs> with the combination of sanjay bansali hmm. ji and saroj khan ji yeah. ab usme mujhe this sweet little ranno my ranno i call him ranno ranveer singh who has never danced forget He's never stood in the thart. वो thart में कभी उसने thart बांधा इसको बोलते thart बांधा. Hmm. He's never he's never stood in the pose of kathak. Leave alone, do a thoda and a tukra. And then Tota Roy Chaudhary, who's an actor, a brilliant actor from from uh, Kolkata, Kolkata, from the Bengali film industry, who has never danced to save his life. <laughs> he's not a dancer. And straight and away. And I'm asking, Karan. What were you on? What were you thinking <laughs> when you designed the sequence? No, 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 no. So now the challenge is already given to me by my director, and here I am. He is palpitating. Ranveer is palpitating. He's got anxiety calls. He's calling not me because he can't call me and tell me, no, no, it won't happen. No, it won't. He can't call because I've done band baja bara. Mm. He will. He can't get. He knows he'll not get away with that call. He knows. He knows they won't be easy. But I mm. had to ensure that all his anxieties are calm. And poor thing, Tota Roy Choudhary silently. Abhi bola hai to bola hai to karna padega. <laughs> Koi choice nahi. Yeah. And then Karan anxiously also calling me. He said, "We will keep it very this." I said, "Karan, just relax. Now we are in this. Now it has. Is it is too late in the day for us to contemplate at what measure, how much, how much not. Leave it up to me. Let me design it. I ensure you that all the purists." who no classical dance i have to balance that yeah. because i come from a lineage of jaipur gharana so i have that on my yeah. head sitting ko oh ho dekhiyo ab ye jaipur gharane ke kathak classical dancer ki hai but inko ye bhi nahi aata it can mm. be that no i am yeah. i have i am walking on a two edged sword ab main yahan se bhi gayi wahan se bhi gayi yeah. <laughs> there is no retracting here boss yeah. i remember tying the gungru for him the first day For Ranveer, I tied the gungru for him. Mm -hmm. I said, "See, I gave him a bit of a crash course. I called these two lovely classical exponents, mm -hmm. who are into classical dancers. I choreographed it on them, so then they could take it further. I didn't. I couldn't choreograph it on my assistants because mm -hmm. the film assistants could not have performed that, even though they tried. I put them also under training, so they were mm -hmm. training under training. Oh. So both the teacher and uh, the artist became students." Every day was a thing, you no? Know? Like we were just waiting. Acha, first day of Dola Re Dola, second day of Dola Re Dola. Dola Re Dola is almost ending after second day of Dola Re Dola. Now Dindora is beginning and Dindora is starting. So this was an extensive eight, nine, nine days of dance and music and dance and music and all that red. Yeah, and yeah. that was like uh, I have to say I have never seen a piece like that mm. get into so much conversation. Yeah. You you see songs which are actually like I proper. I think you have proper. to attribute that also to, to Karan and yeah. the writers of the film because True. you know the intention with which they were doing this what is what yeah. mattered and it brought gravitas it brought darja the to implementation it and, and the of it exactly yeah, the conversation that followed yeah. but like uh, how different and how similar it is to choreograph Shah Rukh sir and Salman sir. Like two different. I feel they have uh, on screen they have a very different visual appeals. 
like uh, Salman Khan is that a uh, chill going one hmm. Shah Rukh sir feels like he's the one who's actually taking like a lot of uh, Uh, dedication and efforts into it and everything for you are uh, kind of uh, teaching both of them how different and how similar it is see i think how different they are they're completely different they're very they're two different individuals but one commonality between the both of them is they're all hearts yeah. they think from the heart they speak from the heart yeah. they'll work from the heart in case of sharuk he will always come he he will you know he has a very student like quality like he mm-hmm. would he would respect the teacher who's expecting him to be rehearsed yeah. so even though he doesn't need the rehearsals he will still do it so that the teacher is happy that ha ye isne mm-hmm. apna rehearsal kiya salman he doesn't care he knows that irrespective teacher is going to love him any which uh. ways so he is that pet <laughs> the pet pee the teacher's <laughs> pet. pet and sharuk is also of course yeah. he is loved unanimously and universally by everyone whether it's a little child whether it's a mother whether it's a grandmother a grandfather so is salman salman is yaro ka yaar i hmm. feel and sharuk is like you know full uh, for full parivar full parivar <laughs> matlab love by yaro ka yaar for full parivar yeah and kya hai ye jab sets pe bhi aate na they don't come with the baggage of being superstars they hmm. come as normal beings hmm. who are very respectful to the man who's serving that yeah. tea on the sets to the man who's on the tarapa yeah. adjusting the lights yeah. to the person who's putting that you know people who are lifting kachra also bechare wo jo jinko haath gande karne padte hain aur uthana padta hai saman yeah. the workers they are very respectful yeah. and very mindful of their respect as well yeah. and their dignity in, in labor yeah. so it's extremely important that that attitude eventually gets reciprocated in yeah. the kind of love they receive from everybody yeah. and since you have a long standing relationship with tiger franchise in case the reported uh, tiger versus pathan happens are you excited to kind of combine these two energies together i would love to combine these energies not only in a spy universe but even at my house if i ever have to sit and party with them <laughs> or go to their parties and enjoy with them and yeah. we've done that a lot of time yeah. of course and that will be i don't know what that is going to be baba yeah. it's going to be mayhem it's going uh-huh. to be like a colossal burst of energy yeah. and excitement i don't think i want to be uh, i just want to be a fly on the wall on that set uh, if that ever comes because i want to enjoy them as as people and their madness because i used to be that fly on the wall during karan arjun uh, i had the privilege of being on the same sets with them while they were shooting a song called mm-hmm. jayma kali for karan arjun back in the days and i remember that so i would like to relive that definitely yeah. that moment and like it's like cut to hmm. 30 years later <laughs> but i have to commend you on one thing that uh, we had seen deepika padukone being sexy hmm. being hot but i think besham rang brought out a side of her i think a sensuality that no one had actually thought about and not just you hmm. it, it the credit goes to the costume designer the siddharth as well the way he brought it out but i feel that song brought out a different kind of sensuality of her hmm. and a lot of commendability goes to you as well because the moves also Mm. kind of adds to that for you to do that and then have the kind of a conversation that happened mm. around it because a lot happened with the way she was looking and yes. the she she was moving was it like a disheartening at that point not really i thought was feeling very happy because i felt like i felt i'll tell you what i felt is firstly i was given a great song audio wise yeah. you know siddharth anand the director he's got a great mind for song tracks the first song that i ever shot with dipika and that was our first collaboration together mm. and like people said like what a collaboration i think it's mm. just it was time for us to kind of come in yeah. and i really wanted to do something special for her mm. and because not because it was my first song but because it deserved the song yeah. needed it aisa nahi hai ki maine kuch alag se special kiya mm. but it required and she trusted yeah. me and it was cold and fighting all the weather conditions all the issues it's not easy when you're 200 300 people on sets yeah we are doing it with complete innocence you know we are shooting it with not the intention of oh what will this interpretation of this step in fact she loved that hip roll step so much that she like we said like you got it in the second take like she got it in the third take like she had rehearsed i didn't even know she had rehearsed so with all of that Now, we are not going to sit and judge. Acha, low kya? We are not thinking low. Mm. Time nahi hai kisi ke paas low kya kahenge. 
कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है क्या ना so yeah. I am not on sets wasting my producers money thinking what is it going to who is mm. going to give what review and how it's going to be nobody is making films like that yeah. none of us in the film industry is working with that True. keeping that in the mindset at the back of our heads very organically like you know Siddharth had shot the scene first mm. which is when Rubai dives into the pool gets out and you see John ah. so they had shot that sequence before oh. I came into shoot song so that costume got locked into continuity oh so that <laughs> so, I no ah, so I had no choice but to <laughs> choose that costume and yeah. he had chosen a costume because I had already chosen my song costumes so we were happy we were very happy we were doing apna amlo apna kaam kare now whatever that song had to become and whatever it became and I think also the title of the song maybe hmm. we had just called it Husna Hame to loot liya it would have resolved all our issues I guess but because it was called Besharam Rang, maybe is what we speculate now yeah. on the hindsight. Then people had, you know, this food for thought. I I feel the, it, the, all the convention made it a bigger chart buster Achai. than it actually. It actually worked in the favor. Yeah, and it actually worked in the favor of the film as well. Everything, and I think uh, it's good to have a conversation true. starter. Like if there's something true. should always happen where it starts yeah. a conversation and it gives people food for thought. True. And I feel like uh, being a dance enthusiast and being a oh. cinema enthusiast, uh, we can take this conversation ahead for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I have to say thank you so much for thank now you. for giving me this time. Thank I you. can't wait to sit with you again and have this kind of long chats and yeah. uh, even without the camera because Off I camera, feel there's huh? a yeah I have a yeah. lot of dance inside me which I want to talk about. Tumhari under dance jag rahe. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for thank giving me you. this time and thank you for giving us Leke Prabhu ka naam and everything that you are doing and everything that you have done. I want you to do now. a dance reel on Leke Prabhu since you are also not a real master and yeah. nor am I. I want you to start your first reel with Leke Prabhu ka naam. Okay, done. For my sakes and tag me on it and then I will give him my comment on it. I'll do two hearts. Done. Uh, <laughs> this this done. I will do this. But thank you so much for thank this. You. Wishing you lots and lots of love and thank love for you. everything you do. Hope you had a good time. I had, I had a, a lovely one. time. Hi, this is Vebhivi Merchant and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble.